elephant tusks on display in Angola's Luyana National Conservation Park. They're part of a captured stockpile that would have been worth a fortune to smugglers. Angola is stepping up efforts to fight poaching and ivory trade. People participate in poaching for economic interests. A few people conduct illegal hunting just to eat bushmeat. Mostly they do to kill animals like the elephants and rhinos. They sell and trade ivory and horns. That is why poaching and illegal hunting is spreading out here. Stop Ivory, a global NGO fighting to stop poaching, says Angola is a transit country for illegal ivory trade to world markets abroad. Ivory is also traded in the local markets. Augusto Mendes used to trade in ivory meats, captures and curios at the Benfica market. But thanks to a government crackdown on the sale of this ivory, he no longer uses it to create his pieces. Wooden elephant sculptures require tusks. If I saw this item with no tusks, customers will ask for the tusks. So we use the white plastic material to make the tusks. Angola is also collaborating with international conservation organizations and neighboring countries to restore and preserve its wilderness. I think um, this is a, in front of us is a demonstration of what the Angolan government is doing. Uh, it is taking action to tackle the poaching here. Um, a new law was put in in 2013. Um, <clears throat> the police in this region have been activated to, um, to, to arrest people who are smuggling uh, this ivory, having killed the elephants, uh, and they're being prosecuted. Uh, this, uh, almost all of this ivory is evidence in ongoing court cases, and those people will be brought to justice. What needs to happen now is the law needs to be made stronger. Poachers in Africa can sell the horns of a single dead rhino for the equivalent of about 50,000 US dollars in the local markets, earning in one night what would have taken them many years in regular employment. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.